Well, officials with the Inyo National Forest and Bishop Field Office of the Bureau of Land Management announced that the fire restrictions put into place in the eastern Sierra on June 20th were rescinded last Friday. Now, recent seasonal changes in the fuel moisture combined with increased humidity and cooler nighttime temperatures have prompted the lifting of fire restrictions throughout the Inyo National Forest and Bishop Field Office lands of the BLM. Now, although the land management agencies are lifting the fire restrictions, they would like to remind the public when recreating outdoors to continue to use caution to decrease the chance of human-caused fires and avoid resource and property damage. Now, the Eastern Sierra did handle two big fires this season. The Indian Fire, southeast of Moto Lake, now, that started with a lightning strike and burned 13,500 acres. And the Fish Fire burned 1,103 acres southwest of Big Pine. Now, Cal Fire has never released the cause of that fire, which burned dangerously close to the community of Big Pine and caused a temporary voluntary evacuation notice that was lifted when firefighters held the blazes that made it to within a half mile of Big Pine. Well, Bennett Kessler filed the following story. A mostly quiet and non-controversial town, the city of Bishop will give citizens what they call a state of the city report and that'll be at their first regular meeting in October. Individual issues have revealed that Bishop is watching its pennies. Remember, a late August meeting saw City Administrator Keith Caldwell defend Police Chief Chris Carter's examination of a change in the route for the Christmas parade, and that was to save police overtime dollars. Poli uh, Caldwell said that all city departments are constantly in search of ways to deliver services that people want for less money. Officials have said that the state of the city will reveal brief department head reports on their accomplishments over the last four years. Now, the issue of this planned report came up in discussion when the city council met in a retreat in mid-August. Now, at that same meeting, officials discussed the 2012 grand jury report, which recommended improvements in the police department building and a potentially larger facility. Now, in its report, the jury had commended the police department for continued good work, but they did point a finger of concern at the police facility. The jury had recommended holding cells should be sanded and painted and that the city of Bishop should set up a capital improvement budget for ultimately relocating the police department to a larger facility. The grand jury called for adjustment of the current facility to provide separated interview spaces for suspects, victims, and witnesses. Council members determined that it would be more feasible to modify the current building than to build or remodel another structure. Officials said that the police chief would keep up his research on modification cost estimates and potential architectural services. Now, the bishop, uh, the minutes of the council retreat also said that the majority of the council members want to keep their health care cost share at the current rates of zero dollars for singles and forty dollars for a family rate. Now, this based on the fact that the council has received no recent salary increases. Well, named as a top 10 century bike ride by Bicycling Magazine this year for its, quote, jaw-dropping vistas, end quote, the High Sierra Fall Century Ride. That spans Highway 395 from Mammoth Lakes to one, Highway 120 outside Lee Vining and back around. Over nearly 100 miles, ride options for shorter routes were popular, too. Now, the event unfolded. And it does that the weekend after Labor Day. And this year's event, the 18th annual High Sierra Falls Century, took place September 8th. Now, the unique ride features 6,000 feet of climbing. 752 riders participated. And that's a big boost in ridership over recent years. You can check out their website, fallcentury.org for more information. Now, on a celebrity note, when basketball legend Bill Walton came into town to raise money for the Eastern Sierra Land Trust back in July, he spent six days riding his bike throughout Mono and Inyo counties, and he even previewed the High Sierra Fall Century route with a group of local Eastside Velo, rider, Velo Club riders. They said he loved it. And Walton only missed the ride this time, the High Sierra Fall Century, because he was introducing his ex-UCLA teammate, Jamal Wilkes. 
Uh, he was inducting him into the Basketball Hall of Fame that weekend. Bill Walton did do a video endorsement for the ride, and again, you can see it on their website. Now, aside from a heart-pounding, breathtaking experience, the ride supports local charitable organizations like Disabled Sports Eastern, Sierra, the Mono Lake Committee, Mono County Sheriff, Search and Rescue, Mammoth High School Boosters, and the Multiple Sclerosis Society. Organizers did emphasize that they want to, quote, revive the event because it is such a magnificent and challenging ride and also because we know it brings an economic boost to Mammoth and the local area on a shoulder season weekend, end quote. They estimate that the event draws 1,000 or more to Mammoth with dollars for large lodging, restaurants, and stores. Now, the group thanked riders, volunteers, and businesses with special thanks to Footloose Sports, Mammoth Mountain Ski Area, and the town of Mammoth Lakes, quote, who provided tremendous resources without which this event could not happen, end quote, the High Sierra Fall Century. Well, the Mono County Nutrition and Physical Activity Task Force, they got a pretty cool new campaign. It's called Mammoth Moves. Now, Mammoth Moves is a community intervention aimed at increasing participation in physical activity through a weekly 30-minute lunchtime walk slash exercise session, and that will be hosted by various leaders in Mammoth Lakes. Press release states that not only does this campaign support positive role modeling by our community leaders, but also creates a fun social environment to encourage participation and improve physical and mental health. The first session of Mammoth Moves is going to be this Wednesday. That's September 19th. You can meet at the Mono County Health Department parking lot. That's at 437 Old Mammoth Road. You'll want to do that at 1210. Now, among the Mammoth Moves leaders will be Mammoth Police Chief Dan Watson and Mammoth Hospital CEO Gary Boyd. If you would like some more information on Mammoth Moves, please contact Sandra Pierce. That phone number is 760-924-1831. We'll be back with a weather report.